back out here again. Oh my goodness. Literally from day to day, it's absolutely different and ridiculous out here. Huh? Yeah, I will. Middle of recording here. George is taking off. She's going to go get us some food. Jeremy's filming Harry Banana. While he's doing that, I'm going to probably just take another walk around. Like, absolutely beautiful. Literally yesterday was dropping nothing but snow and craziness. Look at him back there. So silly. Stay tuned. All right, I got to say hello to Harry Banana this morning. Actually, it's in the afternoon. Spent all morning fiddling with recording apps or filming apps or editing apps. I'm just having so many issues. And you guys are still here? I thought we got rid of you. Unless you guys are a new couple. Well, I'll give you some privacy. Just chill. It's the whole reason I couldn't get out of video in time. I was very upset. Got it figured out, though. Uh-oh. 2.0 saw you coming and decided to... Uh, Release like it. it's like a puppy dog. Like a puppy dog got so excited. Got so uh oh, excited, started urinating. Should we get some mats under there? Uh, got some puppy pads. Yeah, I think we do actually. Or do we have some uh, 2.0 pads? Some 2.0 pads. Those are gonna be huge. They're like air filters. They're only bigger. All right, just help Jeremy finish. Look, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, no! Come on! Wait! Oh. <sighs> Whatever, I'm gonna go take a walk around the property anyways. This is too beautiful. I cannot believe it was snowing in like 30 degrees, if not less, yesterday. Today it's like super duper sunny. All the snow, all the snow is gone, just about. It feels like it's like 60 something degrees, super nice and warm, super comfortable in just a t-shirt and hoodie, which I probably don't even need the hoodie, quite honestly, with all this heat I produce. But I'm gonna check out that, that creek again and see what it's doing because it has to be overflowing. With all the snow that melted in a 24 hour period that came down, it has to be overflowing and it's gonna be gorgeous. What are you doing out here? Do you remember there was this really super cool blue rock that was, that was unlike any other rock in the driveway? Yeah, I'm po positive well, that was Lapis. Yes, yeah, so, okay, so the other day your nephew, Papito, I, I know it's Poppy, but I call him Papito. Uh -huh. I mean, what's Papito even mean? I don't know. I spell it P-O-P-P-Y and I got yelled at. Apparently yeah, it's P-A-P-Y. P -A -P -I, which, P -I, is, yeah. which is um, Hispanic, that's, right? that's Hispanic for uh, daddy. Oh, oh, and oh, so, little yeah, dad, okay. The, little daddy, but okay. uh, I call him Papito because I ain't calling a little five-year-old daddy. So. <laughs> yeah. But he was out here chucking rocks no and, way yeah, <gasps> and george caught him it's with that missing. blue one no and she said put it down and he looked at her and he was like <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so i was looking for it over here i mean it was one of the coolest rocks super cool it stood out i don't know scavenger hunt on the property now just oh, to man. find it and replace it. i mean that's part of the history you got to have it that's going to be my job for today is find the blue stone all right, so super crazy. Remember folks, this was literally snow covered just yesterday. Look at how much water there is. Oh, I'm excited to get down there. Of course, I didn't find it. Poppy was here about, you know, three, four days ago, probably a little bit longer than that. I'm gonna need your eyes as well as my own to find this blue stone. I am, this is what I used to do as a kid, just find things that are missing. I'm really hoping he didn't throw it in this woody, uh, tree-ish area. I'm really hoping it's down there in the creek. It'll stand out. It is literally so blue. If you haven't seen the video where I noticed it while I was writing on Harry Uranus, um, hopefully I'll find it so you can see what it looks like, or you could always go back Far. and check out that. And then movie. something I noticed, I had to point it out. I'm not sure if Jeremy ever pointed that, but look at that. One random amazing blue rock. Uh, I fell in love with this rock yesterday. That's where I noticed it. I figured I'd show it. Just one of those things. Oh, I better put it back the way I found it. I think that's how I found it. There we right. go. And right, check nice. out that video. I did point it out. It was literally like almost an eyesore, but it was the opposite of an eyesore. It was a uh, sight for sore eyes. That's what it is. So let's get down here. I love doing this. Today is just such an amazingly beautiful day. I'm going to take a quick peek in this area. I mean, it would be great to find it immediately, which is something I love to do. But of course I want this to drag out. I want to be out here as long as possible. Why wouldn't I? Ooh, what's that? Let's get distracted for a second. Oh, it's just a leaf. I thought, 
hope against hope that it was some type of cool creature. And I did just hear a bird a few minutes ago, and of course now there's no more birds. But let's get down here. No, that's not it. That's definitely not it. That's some type of... Let's actually take a look at what this is. Finding some stuff. Oh, 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 oh. some of that stripping for that. Those staircases there, so... I'll definitely let Jeremy know that I found some, and maybe we'll either get some new ones or just glue that right back onto it. So quick glance into this part of the creek, and I don't see it. Uh, I should actually be out here with the metal detector again, you know, especially on a day like today. It's so much warmer. Actually, if Jeremy wasn't busy, I would definitely suggest that we do that. Uh, I feel I'd feel really bad if I found some without him. Because then, you know, there might be some accusations thrown around like, oh, you're, oh, there's no way. Did I already find it? Oh, let's get in here. Is that it? No, definitely not it, but still a beautiful stone. Nonetheless, it's like a greenish. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and toss that right back to where it was not, but in its new location. So, yeah, it'd be really awkward if I just found so much gold on their property. And this, from what... From what I can tell from finding it the way that we did, there's got to be a lot more. Oh, I can feel the cold coming in through the boots, but the boots are themselves are definitely waterproof, so I'm excited for that. You know what? Let's go down this way first. Might as well. This is a shorter... Let's go ahead and cross this off the list. So look with me. It's a bright blue, like a like not a dark blue, not a light blue, just right in the middle. Just a perfect... Uh, I believe azul is the proper color. So not dark, not light, just a beautiful blue. It'll stand out. It is a sight for sore eyes for sure. Even through this water, which is crystal clear right now, all this melting snow, it should be pretty easy to recognize. Gotta watch my footing. Sorry if I'm slowing you guys down. Don't mind the grunts. That is just the sound of an aging man doing more than his body wants him to do at the moment. We're gonna get through this together. Oh man, what a gorgeous day. I can't get over this. If you get annoyed with me saying that, I'm sorry. I'm probably going to say about 15,000 more times. It is seriously such a beautiful day. Like, check it out. Clear skies. Brightest sun. Besides for me. But, super duper gorgeous. Visibility is 100% in my mind. I don't even know what that means. Wow, look at that. I was in here that one night. And I made everything all right. Uh, somehow I stuck to the walls. Oh, look at that. We got bubbles. Six inches of bubbles. According to the previous owner, that is a sign of pollution, which it's a lot less today than it has been. Oh, I love that little pool right there where those big rocks just kind of surround it. I'm kind of nervous. I know if I go in here, I'm not going to get stuck or anything, but on the other side is that big pool that Jeremy likes to swim in. And I'm, I'm more than happy... To get in there and go swimming in there when it's a little warmer this is all snow melt water just sounds absolutely gorgeous but let's get in here see if i can stick to the sides uh oh i don't think so i don't think so this time oh yeah i can because i am the spider-man look at that they're waterproof but we don't have to get them wet you know wow i have not been over here since that night I typically stay on the other side. Look at that rushing water! Wow, this is intense. I'm kind of nervous to go back and holy moly! This is absolutely filled. I want to go that way so bad, but not yet. Not this time. This is deep. I'm really hoping against hope that Poppy's arm and accuracy were not good enough to somehow land in this tunnel to push that uh, stone all the way into this. Cause if it's in there, it's gone. It may never be seen again. So let's backtrack, do a little spider twist. Here we go. We are going forward, just so you can see. The only way to go is forward. I don't want any bugs in my hair. So I'm moving, I'm hauling it, baby. We're getting out of here. My thighs are hurting. That's a good sign. Oh geez. Waterproof and slick resistant. Walmart, step up your game. No, I'm just kidding. Walmart, you've been doing a wonderful job. These uh, boots, quite honestly, have really blown me away. I'm surprised at how great they have done. Well, let's get back into this. Find that stone. Reclaim my glory. 
as the best big little brother there is, and brother-in-law, of course. I've got some competition with Tony George and his amazing photography skills. Uh, he took some amazing photos of them for their engagement, and then also while they were in Egypt, which... Not saying I'm going next time, but I was invited. But of course, with all of the issues that I'm going through with insurance fraud, or uh, not insurance fraud, what am I talking about? With all the issues I'm going through with uh, identity fraud, uh, we'll see. We'll see for sure. Somebody else might end up taking my ticket, and that would be terrible. I don't want... All right, but let's get on the other side. Look at that. No more snow. Absolutely crazy. No more snow, as far as the eye can see. No more snow. Why am I out of breath again? That tunnel is not that deep. My thighs hurt. All right, so I did step into here with those muck muck boots, and before you could not see the bottom. Now I can easily see the bottom. I love it. I love this clear, beautiful water. All right, let's take a step in the right direction. All right. I still do not see anything beautiful and blue standing out. I do see some more of that paper, that tape that's supposed to go on those stairs, though. It's crazy that I can pick that up pretty easily because it's black and all this brown. But Poppy, he's a big kid. For only being five, he's a hefty little boy. So he may as well, you know, clear the creek. And, uh, you know, that stone might be over there. All right, let's see where I can put my feet. I don't know. We're going to have to make some quick minor adjustments. hi -ya! hoo -ha! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I feel young again. That's what this... Uh, Scenery and weather does to me really re rejuvenates my soul, especially being out here in the snow the other day, which is amazing. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love that. But this is my element, this is where I belong in this beautiful, it's got to be like 60 degrees, slight breeze, just cooling things off a tad, but not enough to make you chilled. Even George, who's not feeling well, got up and got out today because she has some running around to do, and uh, I was really proud of her. And the way she told me she was going out, it was hilarious. Creatures. Chipmunk. There you are. Haha, -ha, creatures. Hello, Chip and Dale, or Dale and Chip, or Delilah and Chippa. But she was just laying there. I'm editing a video on my laptop, which is in the next room over. I'm in the office. She's in the den. Just laying on the couch. She looks like she's passed out. She's like, that's an accurate representation of how she was laying. And just, I'm editing, editing, editing. And out of the blue, she goes, I want Taco Bell. And I was like, let's go. Taco Bell is one of my favorite places, believe it or not. Uh, it does not upset my stomach. Neither does White Castle, which is pretty cool. I do enjoy White Castles every once in a while. So, I was supposed to run with her, but... You know, I figured, let her get some alone time. I've been here, been bugging her, and been bugging Jeremy. I figured, let her get some alone time on her own. Let her go shopping. Let her try and feel, feel better. Get some of this sunshine. Get some fresh air. Because if I go with her, you know, she might be rushed to want to come back. And, uh you know, make, make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do because this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So I wanted to make sure she had enough alone time, get some fresh air, take her time, do what she has to do, do her lady running around, maybe go some shopping. I didn't want to slow her down. I still have not sighted any blue stones. And I'm not looking for anything else besides for that blue stone, which is a tragedy. I'm glad I found that creature, little chipmunk. That was awesome. But I'm not looking for any other... Uh, cool things, which is a tragedy they're just saying. I should be looking. I should be doing that. So let's focus on what we're doing real quick. I'm sure there's somebody, or multiple somebody's out there that were just like, George, hush and look. George, George, just hush and look. Could have already found it. And then there's somebody out there who's screaming at their TV or cell phone. They're like, I saw it! I saw it! And you walk right past it because you were talking. You big mouth behemoth. I don't know if people actually call me that. If you do, that's terrible. <laughs> but you know, to each their own. This is gorgeous. I really do want to find it. But if I spend the next four hours out here just trudging the creek, I'm not going to be upset at all whatsoever. Oh, I love it. I love the splish splash when I step into these shallow parts. Woo! I told Jeremy he's up there editing right now. I told him if he if he gets done editing his video, come on, come down and join me, and we'll find this thing. 
And I'm really hoping he's wise enough to bring the uh, metal detector because why wouldn't you, right? I'm surprised if it didn't snow yesterday, which we went we went find uh, metal detecting two days ago, and then it snowed yesterday, and now of course it's all melted, which is absolutely nuts in my mind. The Ohio weather, the weather is just so crazy. So it makes sense to me that today should definitely be a day for finding gold. But I know he did want to set up his sleuthing system, which I, I think that's how it's pronounced, sleuthing. He said it so many times, but honestly, I thought it was just being silly. That I really wasn't paying attention. Yeah, there's bugs out and about, of course. And they're uh, doing their buggy thing. Oh man, I really hope it's not in that pool. As, uh, as clear as everything is right now, and that's not really that sh that deep. It's still kind of deep. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean. It's deep enough that I can't just walk into it and stick my hand in there. This water looks absolutely crystal clear and delicious, but... Oh, big water strider. I don't think the camera's going to pick that up, but there's creatures. Creatures all over. And I'm just walking right past them because this blue stone is all I have on my mind right now. Besides for everything that's coming out of my mouth. Oh, big water striders. Oh, look at all of them. I really hope the camera picked that up. There was like six of them, huge ones. There's one right there. I don't know if you guys are interested in that. I'm interested in that. I don't see anything that resembles blue lapizul or blue lapis. I'm not 100% sure how it's properly pronounced. You know, it depends on if you're if you have an English accent, an American accent, or a French accent on how it's properly pronounced. But what you really need to do is find the place of origin where it was discovered, and that's going to tell you how to properly pronounce it. Love it. Absolutely love it. We're going in. We're not messing around. We're not worried about a little water in the socks, and I can feel it. We're not worried about that. It'll dry in time. Not only that, I have unlimited access to fresh flowing water. I can do all the laundry I want. And then with the day being the way it is, a lot of you suggested I should just hang up clotheslines. Like, why am I using a dryer? Uh, because I've never honestly done a clothesline. Never crossed my mind. I thought you needed... You know, the more I thought about it, I was like, they had to have been doing laundry all the time, right? Back in the day, or maybe they did it once a month. I don't know. I know they bathed once a month or something like that. So... You know, with laundry, when you're hanging it on a clothesline, don't you need, like, certain type of weather conditions? Like, dry and kind of hot. You don't want it to be humid. You don't want it to be cold. You So, like, today would be a good day to do clotheslines. But every other day since then has not been good because it's been rainy. It's been snowing. It's been cold. Uh, I'm pretty sure the humidity is extremely low right now. And I feel like I've gone beyond... Where that stone could have been. Where it could, have, could have been thrown by a five-year-old husky boy. And I'm very upset that I have not yet located. Or even, uh, you know, found anything else besides for that. Except for some creatures. Which I love creatures. So I'm going to go look up there. Might as well, right? And then we're going to head into that wooded area that's right over here. And we're going to try and find it over there. I really hope I can find it for them. I do need to do a quick uh, shout out to myself for not getting sidetracked and forgetting why I'm actually out here, which is to find that blue stone. But of course I'm here. That's not, it's not really a mission now that I think about it. I shouldn't have said that out loud because now that I'm really thinking about it, it's not really my mission to find that. It's just something I want to do for them. You know, I want to get back on top of that, uh, you know, brotherly love list. And I'm going the opposite direction, which way I said I was going to go because I decided in my mind that it's not my job to find it, but I still want to find it. But I also want to explore this. Like, why not? I've got the time. I've got the day. Nobody's going to tell me what to do or what to say. So why not? Why not just take a second to enjoy the rest of this and see what else I can find? i got to go sit in my uh, my underlook, as I like to call it, the George's underlook. George George's underlook. So might as well. You guys got to see this. Like, why am I not showing you all this beauty? This is ridiculous. So many little waterfalls. I love it. I don't know. Do you guys consider those waterfalls? I consider those waterfalls. can't get enough of it i could i could be out here if it was like this every single day i could be out here every single day and not 
you wouldn't hear a peep out of me except for if I'm filming. <laughs> Which is a big thing because uh, I've said this before. If I wasn't on camera, I would I would be quiet right now just listening to this stream. Just enjoying nature and the sounds that she makes instead of the sound that this guy makes. But I love it. Who doesn't? Who? I, I need to know, like, who couldn't enjoy this? Like, oh my goodness. Just wow. In my mind, just wow. All right, so I'm in that clear out area and it's very possible he made it this far. It is pretty strong. If it would have went up on this hill, I think it would have rolled down. So that is definitely something I want to check. But I want to check these like hiddenish areas. I'm right underneath where if he just threw it straight, this would be where it landed. You know, it is possible that cute little woodland gnomes uh, decided to adopt it as one of their precious gems. If he threw it into this area, there is always that possibility. You know, woodland gnomes and garden elves. I think I got those backwards, but you know, I'm not a mythical creature uh, biologist. Not even a biologist. I couldn't tell you the difference. I don't see it, sadly. Which the thing is, if I do find it immediately, which I was saying I'd love to spend all day, I can, I can spend all day. If I find it immediately, I can go ahead and go about my day and do what I wanna do as far as, you know, exploring. But this is a mission, a mission only I can handle at the moment because everybody else is busy. Oh, wow, got me for a second. I seriously thought, I don't know why, but just the way I looked at this stump right here, just the way it came upon it, it looked like an armadillo shell. Yeah, I know, not, you probably wouldn't find those here, but still, crazy, crazy, crazy. This is definitely a good area where a stone could be. I don't know if he's strong enough to clear this clearing and get it on that road. I mean, it's possible. I was up there with Harry Uranus earlier, and I wasn't really looking. I was racing Jeremy, but in his truck. And I won, in case anybody was wondering. I did indeed win, beat him by a landslide. Mile, miles, technically. He couldn't catch me on Harry Uranus. Ramsey's 2.0 just doesn't have the horsepower that Harry Uranus has. All right, I think I'm venturing a little too far. All right, I don't think it is on that side of the bridge. I think we're gonna have to check this side, which it could literally be anywhere in this area, depending on how hard he threw it. I mean, technically it could be anywhere in this area, depending on how hard he threw it, but, oh lordy. I don't think it's on this side, which this is pretty easy to uh, look through. So let's cross this. We're not gonna use the bridge. We don't do that. We're just gonna cross. And I can feel the tip of my sock is wet, which is weird, like the top of my sock. I shouldn't have said tip, it's the top. Where the, uh, where the laces come in, a little bit of water seeped in there, but it's instantly drying, which I don't know if that's a secondary feature to its waterproofing is quick dry. Which if it is, good for you, Walmart. Doing a great job, really liking your boots. Uh, comfort wise yeah I can't complain these are pretty comfortable I've spent a lot of time in these more time than I thought I would have so that's not a promotion or a plug I'm just saying these boots if you're looking for a good alternative to expensive work boots these are not bad and I know a few of you have mentioned that you've tried these and worn these as well and you enjoy them so I don't think I've, I've gotten any negative comments on them so definitely if you're looking for a gift for your working partner or just for yourself definitely check out walmart's working boots and uh i know it's upside down but there you go there's the name of it to so check it out folks it's worth the investment i think these were only like between 30 and 50 dollars i don't think they were more than that because i ended up getting two different pairs of boots i got those muck muck boots or whatever they're called and these on the same day and i think i only spent either 50 or 80 dollars so 
don't remember. That was a while ago. All right, so now we're in the woodlands, woodland area, and this is going to be a lot more difficult to 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 find something because it could be underneath of all these leaves. A tree may have recently collapsed on top of it. You know, it could be anywhere on this hill because he could have hit a tree and it could be up there. So, definitely need to keep my peepers peeled. I'd be extremely proud of myself if I found it in here, though. Especially with trying to focus on what I'm filming at the same time. Oh, I was hoping for creatures. Just the wind. Which, thanks to uh, the movie Frozen 2, it is named Gale. So, thank you, Gale. So, there's Dale, which is the chipmunk, and Gale, which is the wind. And then there's Shale, which is a rock. I don't see any blue. But it could. It could be all the way down there. But I'm going to check up here first. Work my way down. I like to work my way up and down. And I was recently reading creatures. Recently reading that. I, uh, an amazing search technique to tricking your brain. Because when you're looking... You know, if you look from left to right, which is how most people read, especially if you're in the U.S., um, you overlook a lot of stuff. Because when we read, we don't read every word. We overlook a lot of words, and our brain fills in the blanks. And we honestly don't even look at all the word. We look at the beginning and the end for the most part. Maybe the middle if it's a really long word. So if you switch it up, if you look from right to left, you have a better chance of finding what you're looking for. So there's a nice little helpful tip. If you're ever looking for something and you can't find it, Switch the way your eyes look. Look from right to left. And you never know. You might surprise yourself. Alright, so now we're getting into the upper peninsula area. No, just the upper area where the rock was. It was up here on that hill. And we're going to check this little area out. I feel like I would have seen it. We were kind of looking up here already earlier. Didn't see it. But... Really didn't want to find it earlier. This might be a a new scavenger hunt type thing. I think Jeremy may have mentioned that. If he didn't, I'm mentioning it now. This is going to be the thing to do from now on is look for the blue stone. Especially when we're clearing out this area because he just had a brilliant idea, which this is area number two. That's area number one over there behind the trees down the hill. He was saying that's going to, that's going to be party area number one. This can be party area number two, and this will be what I'm in charge of, or, you know, we'll have a competition to see who can make the cooler party area. And I already know he's going to win, but I'm going to give it my, my all, you know, I'm not just going to let him win. All right, let's check up here before I go back down there. Uh, it could be in this area. Robert's sitting over here. I think Robert would have told me his little leg is looking so bum. He's just been sitting there enjoying the sun, I bet, today. You're dead right, Robert. Oh, yeah. That's not what he sounds like. That was a terrible impersonation. Shh, Robert's sleeping. All right, let's check. Check around Robert. Let me check on top of Robert because you never know. Kids do, do and say the darndest things. He more or less could have just chucked it on top of my car. Kids do things. Kids will be kids. I remember doing a bunch of questionable things as a little fella. Alright, while searching, check this out. I found this tree. Beautiful tree. Beautiful. Absolutely massive. It's got some whiskers. And I don't know what to assume about these. These could have been a step, but they would have been the only one. I don't see any other indicators that there's any other uh, strings coming out like that so I don't know you guys tell me in the chat in the comment below let me know what you think these are grown into the tree those are that's that belongs to the tree now so been out here for hours and uh, I've spent more time looking for this blue stone than we did looking for gold which is absolutely mind-blowing we spent about two and a half ish hours looking for gold we got super lucky I couldn't believe that I've been out here about three hours now, and I'm not excited to edit this. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. But let's get back to it and see if I can find it. 
All right, so I decided to come back to the place where the bluestone originally was because I'm wondering if maybe he didn't throw it at all. Maybe George just didn't see him throw it and she just assumed since it was gone, but maybe he buried it. So let's, that would be absolutely incredible if he decided to just bury it. Doing it with my hand is not working. So let's try this big boot. That would be incredible. I would be so proud of the little fella. Either that or you, know, you could have taken it. It was a beautiful stone. I used to collect stones. You know, it's finders keepers. It's out in the wild. No, I don't think. Uh oh, somebody's coming. Forge is actually back. Been out here so long. Look at that. That's gorgeous. See, this is the type of stuff as a kid, I would have collected that for sure. As an adult, I'll still collect it. Pocketed. Let's take a cheeky peek to this area. Ugh. Nothing. Oh, I'm getting nervous, y'all. I'm getting nervous. Let's check this area. All right, I'm back at the top of the hill. George notified me that when she saw him throw it, he just threw it right in this area, which, you know, I can see clearly in this area. I didn't check all of these rocks, but I checked most of them. And what I'm thinking is maybe he, like, came back and pushed it just you know pushed it over this little edge so instead of taking the stairs we're going to take a risk on taking a risk and we're going to go down this nice loose leaf uh hill here super super dangerous thing to do oh yeah testing these work boots putting them to the max i want to check that area that's where i'm headed that wooded area right there just in case Woo! we are down all right now we're going to pay attention more to what we're doing not take my eyes off the prize. Thick. Nice and thick. Probably have a spider in my bum. But that's okay. Get them out later. There's never any real danger. I hope I didn't scare anybody. That was a controlled slip. That's what that, that's called, I believe. I just made that up. But I'm sure it actually is a controlled slip. But it was unintentional. But we all survived. We made it. We're here, back at the bottom of the hill, into the creek, once again. <sighs> Just don't know. I don't know where that little boy could throw that beautiful Papi Lapazul, as I now named it. It is officially named after him. And that name shall live in infamy in our family. <laughs> you know, 20 years from now, if YouTube is still a thing and he's watching this video, he'll know. He'll know how we felt. Nothing. Check it out, y'all. As I'm walking by looking for this stone, look what I did find. Some thin, I don't know, oyster shells? Clam, maybe? This is huge, though. This is absolutely massive, and that's got to tell me that there's more in the area. This, this could not have just been brought here on the wind, you know? Either a creature brought this here, or they are in this area. Look at how beautiful that mother of pearl is. So more precious stuff being found on the Hales property in the Hales Creek. So pearls are a potential. Clamshells are a definite. Gold is a definite. Blue lapazul, papi, papi lapazul is a definite as well. But oh, wait, wait. Do you guys see that? That dark figure right there. Not that one. That one. I've got to get that. That has got to be it. I'll be right back. I've found it oh my goodness i found it what are the odds look at that i can't believe it i found it right next to the clamshell i knew it had to be here oh my goodness this is why i am the i spy champion i found it i don't think they're outside anymore oh my goodness Definitely just earned some brother brownie points. Oh my goodness. 
Thank you all so very much for watching. I'm going inside. I've got some food waiting for me. I, I found it. Oh my goodness. Give this video a thumbs up just for that alone. I never get this excited. I've got to surprise them before I show them. Hope you guys are decent. Were you recording? I am now. I'm out of breath. You guys couldn't hear me shouting? I fell. Look. Oh, hell? Yeah, look. Oh my goodness. Fell where? Fell right into the stone. No way. I found it. No way. It. What? I found it. It was in the creek. For real? Yes. It was all the way down in the it creek. It was in the creek, in the water. I saw a... So first of all, I came upon a clamshell. I was talking about the clamshell. I looked over to my left saw a dark figure in the water. Not my shadow. I promise you. Okay. All so right. then I reached in there, pulled it out. You have now found gold, and you've now found the rock. Semi-precious Papi Lapazul. That's what I named it. Papi Lapazul. <laughs> You're going to find diamonds down there next. Oh, yeah. Pope takes a poop and the president chew and the fancy grand